Good morning, everybody. Uh, this is Daryl Vance here with EAK Farm. I usually don't introduce myself that way, but I've been watching some other folks on YouTube and stuff, and I thought, well, I don't do that. I ought to do that. So anyway, so we've done a little video, last video on regenerative farming, <coughs> agriculture, and we've got the chicken tractor moved up there in the top pasture. So I'm getting ready to go move it, but I have another idea. Actually, I seen it from uh, uh, Joel Salton does it, Justin Rhodes has done it. There's a lot of folks do it. Uh, I have some of the electric fence netting. Uh, it isn't a Premier One. It's a it's a different name brand, but anyway. I thought I'm not using it. How could I use it, use the hogs to help with clearing the land as well as decrease the, the feed bill to make the hog business a little more profitable? Because as you know, a hog can eat and feed is high. And I was watching the videos and I thought, why not take that netting and put up and do some pasture fed pork, hogs. I have uh, two shoats, a little young gilt, and uh, the bar that we're gonna eat. But I thought, why not take that uh, electric fence netting, put it up in my pasture where I have a, uh, a very thick, golden let's see what is that called yellow crown beard i'm sorry yellow crown beard i have almost an infestation if you want to call it that of yellow crown beard in certain parts of my pasture pasture what if i put the electric fence around that turn the hogs pigs in on that let them let them root Maybe, you know, if nothing else, maybe to kill out some of that uh, yellow crown beard and turn the soil and give them something to eat on, all the roots and the bugs and whatnot they, they root up. That'll decrease my feed bill. Uh, probably improve the, the health of the hog and uh, be cleaning out some pasture for me. So that's probably what we're going to be doing today. So bear with me. Okay. Do to... the distance from the house that we was going to put the the gilt and the bar uh and they had not been broke to electric yet my wife brought it to my attention that we might order to try to break them to electric closer to home so that they don't roam if they get out <laughs> relax i'm gonna feed you Little red get Easy. Another spot here that the soil is terrible. I mean, it's broom sage, cedar tree. It's just, just terrible. Uh, right here where we're at, where we're standing, as you can see, it's pretty barren. Of course, it is fall of the year, but I think I'm going to try putting the hogs, uh, pigs here first under the electric and let them root all this up, and maybe I can amend this soil a little bit. Lord knows it needs it. Uh, something else I need to to do, and it has been brought to my attention that my local extension office can take oil, or, oil, soil samples and tell me what needs uh, what my soil needs. So, but I, I'm trying to stay away from fertilizers and such like that. I'd like to stay away from that if I could. So let's get started. So this unrolls fairly easy. If you roll it up good when you put it up, you know. Okay, that went up fairly easy. Uh, got a couple posts broke over there. I got some fiberglass posts I'll put in there. And the way this is, the way this is set up, 
the bottom strand has nothing on it. That's what comes in contact with the ground. But the next strand up, let me see if I can get it to focus in here. Let's see if you can see any of them metal strands. And they have metal strands that run through them that conduct the electricity. There we go. So, uh, to buy this with the charter and everything, the initial cost is a little expensive, but uh, once you buy it, if you take care of it, it'll last a long, long time. We had to round the garden last year, keep a deer out. So it's new job is gonna be to keep the pigs in and hopefully we can get this soil in a little better shape, which I'll keep y'all updated. So let me go get a couple of uh, posts and then I need to move some water up here and a feeder. And then finally we'll get the uh, pigs up here. Okay, everybody. So I put my battery back in, which is pretty simple. You just uh, plug your wires in black to, to black. Sorry, black to black, red to red. You put it back in, you got your on and off switch. I have a special tool I'll show you to check the fence to see if it's hot or not. Okay, so we put the battery back in. So we got a green light, that's good. So now I'm gonna test the fence. I got this little tool here. It lights up and tells you how many volts. I'm assuming that's volts. Anyway, the way it works is you take the probe, you stick it in the ground. And you take this, this tool hanging on the fence. And then watch the watch the lights. I'm not getting a good connection there. So it's hitting in excess of 6,000. That ought to hold it. Now I'm gonna turn this off to save my juice. The, it's solar powered, so it will maintain the battery. So on my thinking, you know, we got this pig and the pig, what he's gonna do is come up here and say, I want out. And if he gets his nose under this, there's no shock. So this needs to be fastened to the ground. That's where the welding rods come in. I'm just gonna bend them and stake it down to the ground. So then he'll come up to the next notch, which is electrified to try to raise it up. And when he, after he does that a time or two, that'll be the end of that. He'll quit doing it. He'll learn hog smart. So we're gonna use him to Till this up and fertilize and see if we can't make a little better pasture here. Now I'm gonna be honest, I've studied about this all week. I really feel like the hog would be more beneficial in like the wood, wooded area that I wanna clean up. So silvo pasture, if you would. I really think that it would do better there. But we're gonna try it here first. This is mobile, we can move this as we need to. All right, Piggy, you ready to go to the new lot? We gotta catch you first. I'll get you some feed. I'll get you some feed. Checking the perimeter out. Ah, well, that was a fail. <laughs> well, we'll have to figure out something different. I'll have to fasten it down better. Well, you win some, you lose some.
That's a fail. That's a, a loss. So I'm glad we was close to home when we tried to put it in electric that way. He didn't have far to go to come back to know where it got his feed. Been back on the hill, it might have roamed and ended up somebody else's house. So that's a chalk that one down as a experience. So uh, I didn't have the bottom staked down. That probably had a little to do with it also. Okay, everybody, I'm gonna do a little quick walk around here. See if I see any sus suspect dig marks. Make sure nothing's been trying to get into my chickens. Looks pretty good. Uh, so I'm gonna move this. So, uh, do you know what the white part of uh, chicken crap is? It's chicken crap. Norman. <clears throat> Norman, that, that is a machine. That ain't another bow. I think it gives. Come on. You don't have to show your male dominance. So, <clears throat> the chickens are back there in that pasture. That's a pretty good little skip to take. I mean, I don't, I'm afraid the cows won't follow me. So I'm gonna feed them about halfway here. This ground needs some amending also. I'd been feeding them, if you see out there on that little knob and feeding them there. So I'm gonna work this way and then uh, right on back. Got a roadblock. Come on, let me through. Come on. I can get around you. Some of y'all's gonna have to move. Yep, sorry. Don't be in no hurry. I'm sorry, white face, you motley face thing, you pretty thing, you, you gotta move. 